Hey everybody, it's Sam McGuire. I'm back again for another Logic tutorial. This time we're going to talk about the tuning system inside Logic. We're going to talk about the Her Mode mode, and we're going to look at what that can do for your music production. This is a feature which you may not even know about, but if you do, you may not fully understand. And I don't know if we're going to be able to get into the real nuts and bolts. There's actually quite a bit of math involved with this. And tuning is one of those things that's been around for a number of years quite a long time, even since the early classical composers and Baroque composers. You may have heard of the Well-Tempered Clavier by Bach, and that is one of those examples of a piece that was written for a new tuning system which allowed us to use what we consider the modern keyboard. All of the notes there in all different keys. Well, it didn't used to be so easy to play in all the different keys because technically the piano is an instrument that's never quite in tune. We've taken it out of tune, just enough to make it work across all the keys. Let me explain a little bit, but actually a demonstration right now may be the best option. So what I have is a synthesizer. Right? Typical synth. Now I play a C chord, and that is actually slightly out of tune. For instance, if a vocalist were to sing, they would sing it slightly differently. What happens is, in order to play all the notes equally and then switch into different keys some of those different notes don't really fit into the overtone series and so we've had to bend those around a little bit the third is a little low and the fifth is just slightly low as well all to make sure that the octave plays in tune so what we can do is come up to our settings go into tuning and you'll see right here that we have different tuning instrument scales here. First of all, equal tempered. That's the one we're most used to with keyboard instruments like piano, organ, etc. And when we go, we can actually change this to a fixed tuning scale, which allows us to go into any one of these different tuning scales, many of these from different parts of the world and different styles of instruments, etc. Big list. We can also create our own user scale but the one that you're going to find most interesting right off the bat would be the her mode tuning. This allows us to go into three different subcategories. The pop jazz, again, one we're going to be using the most that will really tighten that seventh in. And this now allows us to have instruments which play fully in tune. So let me play this one more time equal tempered. And as I hold that down, I'm going to push it into her mode. See how it gets a lot more pure in the vibrations between the notes, that relationship? Well, that's what happens when you pull those third and that fifth right into place. Now, this is kind of useful. The her mode doesn't just put it into a different tuning system. It tries to actually take into account that some of the instruments you're going to be playing are still in the equal tempered. For instance, if you record an acoustic piano, this is not going to be able to adjust that. This just works with MIDI notes. So if you have that acoustic piano you recorded, you're going to want to make sure that any other instruments you use still fit together. And so they've compensated for that a little bit as well with this her mode tuning system. We can also change the depth if we just want to fix it a little bit. Or we can just turn it off and go back to the equal tempered. You can also turn on any of your instrument tracks that have MIDI, you can just turn this off completely. So let's look at a little bit of an example with this because you can hear this really well with the synth, but does it going to make as much different with some of the other instruments? We're going to leave this on and open right now, pull it off to the side and switch over to the EXS24. This will allow us to pull in some more realistic style instruments. For instance, a piano. Let's pull out the Steinway. One of the interesting things that you're going to see right now and here would be a piano playing more in tune than probably you've heard. So this is the equal tempered. Actually, when people hear this for the very first time, it sounds so wrong to hear a piano that like that. It almost sounds laser-like. 
And one of the issues we're dealing with are however old you are, years worth of conditioning to hear a piano that sounds slightly out of tune. So to hear in tune actually is a little unnerving for the first time. It's like it doesn't really sound like a piano unless it has that little bit of conflict in those chords. Okay, so a piano is a great instrument where we can now play in tune. We can also come in and use some of the voice things. So for instruments, let's uh, go in and find some voice. Click on the top here, we'll go and just find some voices this way. So we have jam pack voices, choir, try the gospel ensemble. Not the best sounding patch in the whole universe. What really happens though, is that we get a little bit extra realism when we do a choir patch that's actually in tune because when the vocalists sing and a whole choir is doing different parts, they are able to naturally move that third and that fifth into the right place just by how it feels and sounds. So a choir sings that third, they're gonna push it up to where it needs to be instead of singing exactly where the piano is. So it's something that they can do naturally. Another instrument which can do this quite easily well, there's a few others, but any of the, the blown instruments can do this, but also the stringed instruments. All you do is move your finger just a little bit. And so when we do this, we can actually come in, for instance, with strings. And we can take any of these different things, string ensemble, for instance, and pull this out. Now, if a sampled instrument that you trigger with MIDI was recorded badly out of tune, this doesn't fix it. This just moves it in relationship to where I think it should go based on the MIDI entry. So it won't help the intonation of a bad sample. So you should be able to hear it smooths it out just a little bit when I go into her mode tuning and it actually gives a little more conflict up here. Now, when you're doing a full orchestration in Logic, this is one of those great things which allows you to actually add more realism to the orchestra parts that you're creating. Voices, orchestra, any of the brass parts like that, for instance, will definitely be helped by this. So there's a lot of opportunities here for that. Here's a brass ensemble. You can definitely hear when it's in the equal tempered, some of those relationships of the notes kind of going wah, wah. When it goes down into the her mode, a lot of that goes away and you get a lot more clean tone intonation. Is this gonna help with your pop, different other styles of music like that? Well, sure. Any of your synth parts, your bass part, all of your instruments are gonna have a much tighter intonation style, much more like a live ensemble where they can play on stage and make sure things are in tune all the time. Okay, so that's a look at Logic's tuning systems. I hope you enjoyed this, and I hope you get in and really start using this mode so you can make your music that much tighter and that much better.